Do you hear this? It's because I'm in Squadron 166, an unbelievable unit. And I'm here to speak with Captain M about some really interesting things that this unit does. And by the way, for the Israelis among us, when you hear the Steim Shalosh, it's from here. Yalla, let's go. That on the 7th of October, you weren't in Israel, you were abroad, and you heard what happened, left everything, and came to serve. Is that true? Yes, it is. I woke up to tons of missed calls from my parents, who were super worried. And when I called them back, they told me that there is a war that starts in Israel. And the next thing that I did was try to find the fast way I can get home. I landed on uh, Sunday evening, and on Monday morning, I was in the squadron. I was already in the cockpit. One of the things that we always hear about is how the Palestinians, or specifically the terrorist organization Hamas, uses the Palestinian civilians as human shields. And yes, I know people always are hearing Israelis, oh, again with the human shield. But here's the thing, it is a reality. And Captain M here with me not only can vouch for it, she saw it with her own eyes. Yes, with her own eyes through this. I can tell that from my own experience, which I saw from first hand, that saving human lives is our superior uh, value. We always try to minimize the collateral damage. For example, a lot of times the Hamas shoots uh, missiles from uh, schools, hospitals, um, and this one time that I can remember, uh, they were shooting from a field, and when we came there to eliminate the threat uh, of, of when they shot us, uh, we saw that there are children walking around a place that uh, just around had... Around where the missile launch is. Yes, and a lot of times you can see uh, high ranks walking around with the uh, children around them because they know how much we value human lives and how much we value. But what children. do you do in this situation? Do you strike? You don't strike? What is? How, how do you make a decision like this? We stop the attack. So contrary to what I hear a lot, I can say from my own perspective, from my own experience, that we value human lives and we sometimes even lose targets uh, in order to keep this superior value as one of our core values. 